Now let's look at our comprehension questions for why the sky is far away. Don't forget to put your name at the top. Let's look at question one. What were the people like in the beginning of this story? So we need to go back and think about what the people were like. What were they doing? What were they saying? What were their actions? Now remember, the beginning of the story is most often the first, second, sometimes third paragraph if the story is longer. So you want to go back to those paragraphs right under the title and look at what the people were doing and what were they like. Let's go ahead and restate our question. This one starts off a little bit differently. To restate it, we would say in the beginning, of the story the people and you would go ahead and find some actions some things that they said that helps you decide what do they like go ahead and pause this video answer the question and then push play again Now let's move on to number two. It says, reread paragraph one. What word has the same meaning as scrumptious in paragraph one? So what we're gonna do is go to paragraph one. We're going to look for the word scrumptious and we're gonna put a box around it or circle it. And then we're gonna read the sentence before it and the sentence that the word was in, and maybe the sentence afterwards, if there is one, to help us figure out what that word means. This time, we don't have to restate. All we have to do is write the word down. Go ahead and pause this video, answer question number two, and then go on to question three. Question number three says, reread paragraph five. What is the meaning of concealed as it is used in paragraph five? So let's go ahead and find that word in paragraph five. And we're going to put a box or a circle around it. And we're going to read the sentences around it. What was happening? when they use that word. What was going on in that part of the story? Go ahead and underline the sentence and then see if you can figure out what the word concealed means. We're going to go ahead and restate this one. So we would write, the meaning of concealed is Go ahead and underline that sentence and put a number three next to it in your text. Pause this video, answer the question, and then move on to question four. Question four says, what is the theme of the story? We've answered a lot of these type of questions. Do you remember what the word theme means? That's right. It means the lesson we learn from the story or the central message. So we find the theme by thinking about maybe what the characters were like in the beginning of the story. Some of the things that were going on, some of the actions that they did. 
And what did we learn from them? Did they make mistakes? If so, what kind of mistakes and what happened as a result of those mistakes? Most often, we learn a lesson from the characters. Let's go ahead and restate the question. So we would start by saying the theme. of the story is and then we would go ahead and answer it good luck pause this video and then move on to question number five good job you're on question number five the last question wanted you to answer the question, what is the theme of the story? And this question kind of wants you to prove it. Let's look at it. It says, which sentence or sentences from the passage supports the theme of the story? Do you remember what that word supports means? Well, we know the word support means, often means to help, right? So that's what support is. It kind of helps us come to the conclusion of the theme. Okay? So think about what was going on in the story. What helped you decide the theme of the story? What were some of the sentences that said, ah, that's the lesson? And that's what you would write down for answer five. So let's restate it. The sentence is that supports the theme is and then you would write down what your answer is. Go ahead and underline them and put a number five next to it. That way it shows your teacher where you found your answer. So don't forget, every sentence starts with a capital and ends with punctuation, like a period. Always remember your name at the top. Good luck and try your best.